Am I the asshole for not wanting to be around my GF's little sister and causing a rift in the family? I met my girlfriend when we were 11. We were on the same basketball team so I met her family at the games. Her sister, Sammy, was 8 back then and I guess her family used to like teasing that she has a little crush on me and she'd get all shy whenever I hung out with them. They made jokes about me being her, little boyfriend. Then we got together when we were 13. So the whole Sammy crushing on me got more obvious. Everyone in her family says it's cute. Sometimes Sammy would come with us to the movies and I'd buy them stuff. Whenever I go with her family anywhere Sammy always wants to sit NXT to me or on my lap. Never said anything back then since she was a little kid and didn't mean anything. Now she 15 and feel like the crush has got worse. To a point where it is awkward and uncomfortable for me. She doesn't hide that she gets jealous of my girlfriend or when I'm at their place she's like glued to me. Gets mad if we want to be alone in my GF's room. Wants to go with us wherever we go. Everyone always treated it like Sammy being herself. But now it makes me super uncomfortable her wanting to be all over me sometimes and I purposely sit somewhere she won't have space to be near me. We just learned recently that my girlfriend is pregnant and we moved into our own place to get ready for our baby. Sammy straight up lost it when we told our families were pregnant. I'm serious she locked herself in the bathroom crying for an hour yelling that she hates everyone. So yeah with her reaction I wanna be around her even less. I told my girlfriend how I've been feeling uncomfortable with her sister for s long time and I should have said all this sooner. My girl apologized because she always thought I was okay with some of the shit her sister does but says I don't have to interact with her if I don't want to. She also talked to her family about getting Sammy to start respecting my boundaries and let it go with the boyfriend jokes already. They don't think Sammy is doing anything wrong since the crush is innocent so they pretty much don't want to tell her keep some distance from me when we come over. Her parents started coming at me to stop making a big deal and punishing Sammy for how she feels. I showed my girlfriend the TXTS they sent me and she got pissed. So now she won't go either until they start getting her Sammy to behave right around me but they won't do that. The whole family is attacking us especially my girlfriend and it's making me feel guilty. They're saying I'm terrible for ruining things between my girlfriend and them. They don't get why I'm being this way. My girlfriend is so mad she don't want to talk to them, they're saying it's my fault. Am I the asshole for starting this whole thing by not wanting to be around Sammy anymore? Not the asshole. They let this inappropriate behavior go on way too long and encouraged it by not doing anything and repeatedly saying you were Sammy's boyfriend. WTF. Family and Sammy are very in the wrong here. NTA. Bro good job saying something. Your girl doesn't find that weird? They're sisters. Right? Not the asshole please go very low contact with her family until the baby is born. This should be a special time for you both and your girlfriend really doesn't need the added pressure during her pregnancy. I hope you two don't live with them? If you do, move out ASAP. Sammy's crush may have started out innocently, but it shouldn't have been allowed to go into this very unhealthy phase. Sammy is a teenager bursting with hormones and crazy thoughts. I really hope she doesn't hurt herself over this. Not the asshole. You guys have only 3 year age gap. It's really weird. Why are her family members acting like she is some 9 tenths year old who likes to spend time with her sister's 25 year old boyfriend? Looks like they haven't stopped babying her and let's not forget her behavior is mostly their fault. Their teasing only encouraged her and if you wanted to stop, you need to enforce boundary. It is worrying how she will treat your child in future if her obsession doesn't end. Edit. Typo. Not the asshole and it's kinda creepy that they're egging it on emo. You should also let your girlfriend know that she doesn't owe anyone her time. Not even family. Her parents' actions and her sister's actions are the cause for the rift, after you have made it clear that it makes you uncomfortable and they've done nothing about it. Not the asshole you are not the issue the family and Sammy are, though you should have spoken up sooner. The nice thing is you have your own space and if her family keep up the abuse go no contact for a while till they behave and apologize. Just support your girlfriend and good luck with the new little one. Not the asshole. That's not an innocent crush. That's unhealthy obsession. Especially if she crying for hours because you're starting a family with someone else and she can't move on. Sounds like the parents are in denial at how bad it is. I'd even be scared leaving your child alone with her in case she see the child as an obstacle. She should have grown up from this crush a long time ago. She's 15 and her family is still treating her as if she's a little kid. Not the asshole. You're making yourself and your girlfriend a favor. Also, congratulations on the baby. 
Are your girlfriend's parents really blind to the fact that Sammy isn't a 8 yo with a crush on an 11 yo anymore but is now a 15 year old minor going after, obsessively, that same person who is now a legal adult with consequences he would face if she doesn't stop? What if Sammy gets upset again and decides to lie for revenge, to break you guys up? Gets jealous of your baby and no one is looking? Do you really think you should feel guilty for not wanting anything to do with the total risk that having Sammy in your life is? Also did y'all see that part about her wanting to sit on his lap? Sammy was 13 when she was doing that. Middle school. A 13-year-old wanting. Trying to sit on a 16-year-old's lap is creepy, unhealthy, and not normal. I'm shocked that her parents allowed this. Also, the whole, Sammy's little boyfriend, thing? Also incredibly unhealthy and not normal considering he's actually dating her older sister. Congratulations on the pregnancy though, hope all goes well. I may however be cautious about letting Sammy around your new baby when it comes. I'd be worried that she would take her jealousy out on your little one. Not the asshole. Her parents just don't want to parent Sam. It's easier to just try and strong arm you into dealing with her than telling her to cut the crap. Not the asshole. As bad as this sounds, I'd also be wary of her down the road and look out for signs of her trying to push you and your girl apart when Sammy's 18 plus. Hopefully this crush will have blown over by then but this happened to a friend of mine and his girl's younger sister tried to seduce him when she became of age. He obviously rejected it and he and his wife cut contact completely. But it caused all sorts of issues with the younger sister telling lies. That were refuted by my friend with clear evidence such as the sister saying they had slept together on certain days when there was proof he was with his wife, out of town, out of state, etc. Just a warning to be careful as pessimistic as it sounds. Crush innocent when she responds with a crying fit when you announce the pregnancy? Congrats by the way. Seriously, that is not healthy and the clingy behavior confirms this. It may have been innocent at 8 years old but really at ISN, backquote t. Given that it, backquote s family keeping her away will probably not work but if she is in the same general area keep your distance, do not encourage this and be firm but friendly. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. In the first place, they should have respect your privacy because you were uncomfortable and things are getting out of hand. I don't think it's normal to hang around with someone who has a girlfriend already. And it's really awkward that it has to be your GF sister who makes you feel uncomfy in their family. Not the asshole. You are not obligated to be uncomfortable for, Sammy, no means no, and everyone has to accept it. There are a lot of things we let kids do that we don't let teens do. The people who get upset when you establish a boundary are the people who ever overstepping it. Let them be upset, of course they don't want to see, Sammy, have her first heartbreak. Deal with it now, because it will only get worse if you allow, Sammy, to behave in ways you don't like. She is not going to die because she can't marry her crush. Life is full of consequences, and the consequence of, Sammy, not respecting your boundaries is you won't be coming around. Not the asshole that sucks. Good luck with the baby. Not the asshole and despite the weirdness, this is not necessarily Sammy's fault either because this has been cultivated and encouraged by the family. This is directly their fault for letting her think it's okay to the point of her developing an obsession. It's all fun and games until the little kid grows up to be psycho stalker. Sammy probably will need therapy to help with this, especially as the family's making it out to be your, OP's, fault, and I would not trust her alone with the baby when it comes, ever, at all. Not worth the risk, until these issues and feelings are resolved. Not the asshole. It seems like Sammy is acting wildly inappropriate, and her family is not holding her accountable. You and your girlfriend are the only ones making any sense here. Think about it if the situation were reversed, and it were a guy doing this to a girl. People would immediately say that this was a problem. It's the same both ways. What she's doing is harassment, it's creepy, it's boundary pushing, and it needs to stop. I would go low or no contact for a while till they respect your boundaries and how could they let that, crush, more like obsession, become that out of control what did Sammy expect you would betray her sister and go to her sister plus she sounds like trash wastebasket sister at least you and go have each and congrats on the baby. Not the asshole her little sister's behavior was highly inappropriate and her family enabled it. They also led her on to think that something may come from her crush on you by doing so. Crushed like that are cute when the kid is 8, not 15. Your GF's family are the ones causing the rift by not respecting your boundaries. Not the asshole, this is really creepy and huge red flags for the future. 
Please do not ever leave your child alone with Sammy and the grandparents. Who knows what she would do to your kid? What your GF's parents would enable? Not the asshole. Just gender swap this. It's intensely creepy. Also they've enabled Sammy into basically becoming a stalker FDOM a bad Netflix movie. Maintain these boundaries but also remember that they pushed you and girlfriend away. Congratulations on the kid. You deserve better than endless sexual harassment. Not the asshole. It's not a crush anymore. It's obsession. Flushed. Not the asshole. Sammy is old enough to understand appropriate boundaries. And you aren't punishing Sammy for how she feels. You are holding Sammy to account for how she behaves. Just because she's a teen girl doesn't mean she has free license to harass someone. She sounds frankly a little unhinged, and you're better off staying away from her. If she's behaving this irrationally, how far will she go? Your girlfriend's family are. I don't even know where to begin. Not the asshole. They really haven't done the little sister any favors here. The poor kid's been living in some fantasy land egged on by her own family. This must be hard for your girlfriend too, her family making some crazy deal about you and her little sister. Unless they all settle the heck down and tell little sister to get her emotions under control, you are both probably better off keeping your distance for some time. Not the asshole. When she was eight, it was a perfectly normal thing on her behalf. She's been badly failed by her parents in how to deal with her feelings and development. She's not as much of an asshole as her parents are. You and your girlfriend are handling this well. Not the asshole this has went way beyond a joke. They really need to get Sammy to stop. Sounds like the beginning of a Criminal Minds episode. Don't let Sammy babysit. Not the asshole. From your post, I guess you are 18. So you're an adult and she is a child. That creates a very awkward situation and it's better to avoid even the hint of impropriety. The sister has to learn that there are boundaries she cannot cross. Not the asshole. At first it was a cute little girl crush. By now, it's an unhealthy obsession. The family is completely in the wrong for encouraging it and hurting her for not trying to teach her that boundaries are important despite her personal feelings. The fact she gets jealous and locked herself in in the bathroom screaming upon finding out your girlfriend was pregnant. That's not cute, it's disturbing. No contact is probably the only option at this point, to be honest. She's not gonna just lose the obsession because someone finally tells her to knock it off. Not the asshole but I can't help but wonder how this would have played out if instead of indulging the kid's sister early and then tiptoeing around the matter later, everyone was just direct with her once it became uncomfortable for you. For all she knows, she had a chance to be happy with you which was probably destroyed by this new baby. Which is not a healthy way to be thinking on any metric for a variety of obvious reasons. To this date has anyone talked to her about the situation? Therapy may be a good option. Not just for Lil, Sis but the fam as well. Not the asshole and my god you better treat that girlfriend of yours to something beautiful. She seems to genuinely love and respect and you from what you wrote she is just the most supportive and amazing person. Listen to her. Forget the rest of the family, they are ta. Not the asshole. Could you imagine if Sammy was a guy and was cuddling up with his brother's girlfriend against her will? That's sexual harassment and not cute at all, regardless of gender. I would also be extra careful because any accusation of impropriety from Sammy could end up with disastrous consequences. I'm amazed the parents don't see this. Not the asshole. As another commenter said, never be alone with Sammy or Sammy and your GF's family in case Sammy accuses you of something. Not the asshole you're not punishing her feelings, you're giving her consequences to her inappropriate actions. The adults in this have really dropped the ball, they should have started nipping this behavior in the bud as you guys got older. Now they fail even harder by not teaching their kid to respect other people's boundaries. Now they have a 15 year old who thinks she's entitled to a person just because she has a crush on them. I'm starting to wonder if this is how stalkers are born. If she carries this behavior onto other crushes she's going to get into some trouble. Not the asshole she is being weird. She's 15 yo that's old enough to get it together already. By the way you knocked up your girlfriend at 18? Boy you need to be more careful. IG not the asshole, but this didn't happen. The family have allowed the sister to elbow her way into OP's monogamous relationship and turn it into a polygamous one. All the three-way dates where he buys stuff for both of them and every time the parents confirmed their approval with their little boyfriend. Remarks which are about as funny as bird shit landing on your face just encourage this relationship to include both sisters. How fucked up do parents have to be to encourage this shit for seven years?
not the asshole. I'm seriously worried about what Sammy could do to her pregnant sister or her future niece, nephew if left alone with them. Op. Maybe this sounds extreme, but don't let your girlfriend or your kid be alone with that family. Sammy sounds dangerously obsessive. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm gonna add it since I don't see it in the top comments but taking some distance is a good thing. OP's reputation could be ruined if someone thinks he is in a relationship with the little sister, and worse the police could get involved. Not the asshole. Your girlfriend's family has been encouraging this fantasy while her sister was at an impressionable age, and nobody stopped to periodically remind everyone that it's a joke, not real, and set boundaries that respected you and your relationship with their other daughter, your actual girlfriend. She's 15, sticking to her sister's boyfriend, throwing a fit over a milestone in their relationship due to a fundamental misconception about her own relationship with you. She needs to learn boundaries, or she's going to keep overstepping in any relationship she thinks she has a right in. Oh no. Babies having babies. SMH. Not the asshole this is gross stuff. I would go a step further and say your girlfriend should not be alone around Sammy for her own safety. Big warning. Never be alone with her. She might accuse you of touching her etc. because in her mind if she can't have you so her sister can't either when you are in jail. She needs therapy. Not the asshole. And hash x200b. No one has mentioned this but op is 20-ish and the sister is 15. What is going to happen when the sister finally understands that op does not want her? How is to say what kind of relationship lil sis has concocted in her mind? Op I am seriously worried that once she finally understands, she might accuse you of something and because of her age it could cause very serious legal issues for you. Keep you kid away from her. Dude out here buying in a harem anime. Not the asshole. It stopped being innocent the minute Op got uncomfortable. It stopped being cute the minute she flipped her shit that Op and her sister were having a baby. Not the asshole. If Sammy is this much over the edge, please be careful with your baby. Don't let her babysit or be alone with the baby until you are sure she's moved on. 15-year-olds are not known for rational and appropriate reactions to things and she could take it out on the baby. Not the asshole the issue is not how Sammy feels, it's how Sammy acts. It's sexual harassment, and her parents need to recognize that. 